Hello guys, today I'm extremely excited to present to you my new course, my biggest ever text-based online course yet. This is the one, Booking.com, recreating Booking.com database with API with Laravel, covering it all by PHP unit tests. For quite a long time, I had an idea to recreate some famous relatively big project, try to recreate that with Laravel step by step. And I've been working on that one for the last couple of months. And finally, I have it released on Laravel Daily Com courses in total 28,000 words. Of course, I haven't recreated the whole booking com because that would be years of work by team, not by myself. But I focused on a few specific parts. First, it will be only API. So no like Vue.js, React or Livewire or Frontend at all, just the API and the database structure for that. And also covering that with PHP unit tests, with automated tests, because I think it's a crucial part of any application. And of course, I focus on the main features like apartments, geographical data, search for apartments and properties, bookings and ratings and filters, some facility filters as well. So the main things on Booking.com, of course, the real project again is much more complicated and would take years to recreate. Now on this channel, what I typically do with the courses, I release a few lessons of the course for free here on YouTube. But this time it won't be like the first, the second and the third lesson or something like that. And by the way, the first two lessons are free without any registration, without any membership. So you can check them out as well. And let's quickly run through the content. And today I will show you lesson number four, search for property by city or geographical object. So in general, the course consists of four parts, four chapters. And I imagine there will be more in the future. I see this course as ongoing. So if you are interested in some features of Booking.com or if you have any questions or ideas, I may totally add more lessons in the future. So be active in the comments. Anyway, first we tackle users and roles. So property owners and users who would book those properties, how to structure that. Also profile fields on two examples based on that Booking.com. And also what if we have users with totally different roles like doctors and patients with different fields, how to structure that in a better way. Then we go into apartments and property and search for that. So that's another section. Then facilities are worth a separate section because it's quite a complicated structure. Like does the property have Wi-Fi? Does it have swimming pool or something like that? So those are facilities. And then finally we go to the bookings. So make the booking, calculate the price, rate the bookings, and then order by rating. A few screenshots from the course. So basically we will work with visual representation of Booking.com. From that visual representation, I imagine how features should work. Then we we'll work on that feature and result of the lesson is usually Postman API endpoint call and automated tests, whether one test or a few tests per lesson. So if you are excited about going through that as much as I was excited to work on that for a few months, the direct link will be in the description below. And today, Let's go to the lesson number four and try to search for properties. Again, it's very weird to have a video about text-based course, but it makes sense for me, even more sense in this case to have text-based course because it's easier to edit than in the future, update to Laravel 11 and beyond and add more features instead of procrastinating on reshooting longer videos. So anyway, we search for some object and the result should be the list of properties. And the goal of this lesson, for each lesson I have the goals, we have created API endpoint for searching the properties and cover that with unit tests, which is property search test file. We start from creating controller and route. So make controller artisan command. And in here, I immediately go with the namespace of public. So earlier in the project, there's admin and user namespaces. So public will be public controllers. And in here I go for invocable controller. So only one method property search controller is just a personal preference. You can do index method, but if it's only one method per controller to avoid specifying that in routes, you can do something like this and then you don't need to specify the method. You just specify the controller, which will have invoke method, which will fill in a bit later. Here's the structure of the routes. So that search route is public, not in auth sanctum and not in the owner or user groups. And then we search by city. 
so we will utilize eloquent function called when. It helps to have eloquent query with various conditions which may or may not be present. So for example, when request has city, then we filter by city and get those properties. So in the postman, we would have something like this, slash API search, city ID is the parameter, and then the result is the list of properties. And a practice that I recommend personally, that's again a personal preference, is to immediately write automated test for that feature. So make test property search. For that, we also need property factory to fix some data for the property. It's debatable what values should be for the different fields. In my case, I just take the first owner and the first city from the database, fake the address, fake the latitude and longitude, and then in the test itself, I create the user, I create the cities, I create property in the same city, and then another one in another city. And these variable names are important because it's immediately readable what that property is about in city and in another city. And then I get the JSON and assert that only one is returned and only with ID property in city and not this one in another city. Next, if we scroll down, this is the result of PHP artisan test with filtering specifically that test method. Then search by country is almost identical. We just use the same when, so when request city or when request country. The difference is the relationship. So city ID is the field in the property and country is not the field in the property. It's just city ID with relationship to the city and then city has relationship to the country. That's why we need to use where has method and query the country ID from the city table like this. And also similar test method for testing by country. And result is also passing test. Now search by geographical object. This one is more interesting and more complicated. On Booking.com, I've noticed that you can search for Big Ben, Statue of Liberty, or any other object. And each object, I imagine, in the database has its location, so latitude and longitude. So basically, we have the database table of geo objects. That's how I call that. And when we do have that geo object passed as a parameter to the search ID of that geo object, we need to first find it in the database and then filter by its coordinates, latitude and longitude. And this is the formula how to do that in, not exactly in Laravel, but in MySQL in general. There should be a raw condition based on mathematical formula, which would return proximity within 10 kilometers in that case. I found that formula in a few places online. I've made some research, so I will click that article and show it to you. Get locations nearest to the user with MySQL PHP. So it's not Laravel, this is the formula by Dumitru, so thank you Dumitru for providing that. Again, it's not his formula either. It was online in a few places at least. And then again, we search for property in automated test. So see the pattern. You create a feature and then you create a feature test for that immediately. Because otherwise, if you don't do that and try to write the tests later, then you would forget how that feature works, what were the parameters. So while it's hot, it's better to write automated test immediately. So again, we create property near and property far. Again, naming is important. And then we assert that only one is returned. And as a result of that, we have PHP artisan test for the tests that were previously in the scores and this one new property search test. So this is lesson number four in this course. And again, if you're interested in the full course, the biggest course in my life so far with 28,000 words, and there will be more in the future, head to laraveldaily.com to courses or the link will be in the description below. I will publish a few more quick tricks from this course or quick lessons I've learned in five minute videos in the future on this channel for free and see you guys in those other videos.